Sanchez and we're here with probably one of the most ambitious reviews that I've been uh, going to be doing. We got here Paul Manzi that you guys heard. Uh, say hi Paul. There you go. So right here this is what we're going to be doing right now. We're going to be doing a David Tiger essentially highlight reel. Just really kind of highlight the pieces that he does because David Tiger does amazing tailoring and he can put pieces together real well and customize them and just weather them to perfection for anybody that wants some pieces. Now, we're gonna start from the right here. Now we have The Strangers. So we have The Strangers, this is the man in the mask. And I saw the movie once, I'm not too familiar with it anymore because just I haven't seen it in a long time. But this piece is exactly like the movie. The sack is perfect, the ax is beautifully weathered, and the diorama that I believe he did. He did this one, this little stand, right? No, that's a uh, older ones customs. Leather that's an older piece. ones custom. Okay, so ones customs did that, but this is all the David Tucker piece. You know, it's not like he got the head sculpt from ones with certain of these appliances. But this one is absolutely really well done. The tailoring is really well on the suits. Uh, the weathering, it's got subtle hints of black. Just he did a great, excellent job. The proportioning is really well as well, and the movie's really messed up. He weathered the boots. And I gotta say, the sack, however he tailored it, is just really, really, really beautifully proportioned and just is exactly screams like the movie. Now, we move to the left, your right, my left. We have the H2 explosion concept, which is supposed to be a concept of the continuation after uh, the 1981 Halloween movie. So I'm gonna actually have Paul kind of go into the concept a little bit and explain it a little bit, so I hope you guys can hear him. Yeah, guys. So this is the uh, post explosion, or uh, po yeah, the post blood tears explosion uh, concept that me and David did. I'm still working on the dioramas for this piece, but it also comes with a uh, warlock head sculpt from one. Right now is on there is the bandaged head. As you can see, his arms, his fucking you know sleeves are singed. He, he's he's all burnt. He also comes with a bunch of stuff that's not shown over here just because we already have too much stuff on the table. He comes with uh, some, some sleeves that kind of rebuild the coveralls. He comes with regular hands. He comes with bandaged hands. He comes with a knife. He comes with a scalpel. He comes with a lot of goodies. So actually, speaking on what you had to say, what I really loved is the detail. So the bandage head is actually a material bandage, and I love that he actually included the blood tear effect on yeah. there. Now that's what really is going to give it off. Now obviously you can swap it out for the H2 Warlock head that you're going to be getting with this. Now I got to really, really say, because it's an explosion scene, you got to see that all his wounds are showing. And David Tucker did a really, really good job sculpting the muscle, the texture, and the color of the blood is absolutely, absolutely exceptional. Now, this is where I gotta say, his tailoring is absolutely on point because the proportions are really, really well done. Uh, I do have to say, I also love the details of the burnt patches that he has on the shoulders and some bullet holes in the back, because Loomis shot him at the end, so if you guys know. Uh, he shot him two in the eyes and then he unloaded. Uh, and so did Lori. So I do have to say that this is a really well done piece. This is just a quick diorama that Paul's made of wooden yeah, floor. Yeah, just, just something quick. He's he's been working like a madman. I actually gave that piece away on Instagram for free. Free. So that's that's what that's going to. Away. 
So absolutely well done. And uh, I cannot wait to see this completed. The sleeves are gonna be absolutely easy to apply. You put them back on, you pop them off, and it's gonna be seamless. Blends right in seamlessly, yeah. All right, guys, so we're gonna go on to the next piece, moving on to your right, my left. So we're gonna go to one of my favorite pieces ever. Come on, the iconic 78 Myers. And who does a better 78 Myers than Once Customs and David Tucker? Not many people, then you have the Mad Bug. So David Tucker did the coveralls, and they're absolutely bang in proportion, uh, proportion was. The coloring's good. You know, he can make these in all different color materials to whatever is your liking, which a lot of people don't do. They specify in the specifics of it all. But you know, you have the VHS version where it was uh, olive green. You have the 4K Blu-ray that is now, it was a navy blue. Then there's the, uh, the yellow, uh, the great coveralls by Yensel. But these are absolutely amazing. Proportioning's good. He does have a padded body for proportioning as well. I can feel it. It is a custom fat suit. Yeah. And then he tops it off with a Once Custom 78 sculpt, which you get a little bit of everything. You get the Once Customs feel, you get David's feel, and then of course you move down the base and you have a beautiful, beautiful street base by Paul Manzi himself. Now what I love about this is actually, I'm, I'm gonna critique it, I don't care if he's there. You know what I'm saying? The base is really, really well done because it's a street, and I love how the street just, it moves like it's not perfectly flat, just like a road would be. It has bumps, it has crackings, it has the uh, double street lines. So it's really, really well done. It's not just black, it has some browns in there, like there's been dirt. Um, and it has this uh, pumpkin right here, this pumpkin patch. And it has some debris, just like it would be on a dirty street. Absolutely well done. So, you know, you guys can reach them out to, you know, David Tucker, C underscore creations on Instagram or Distress Labs, which is Distress underscore Labs on Instagram, and um, they will get this out to you. Now, this piece moving to the left once more, and which is your right, we have a remake concept now. The boy, the homie uh, Anomaly682, he did a review on this, so go check out his YouTube channel, Anomaly682. He did a in-depth review of this, but I just had to pull this out because this is really impressive. The proportioning on this remake concept, Sackhead Jason, Wow, am I impressed. I am very impressed with this one. Very impressed. David Tucker's got to have some of the best, if not the best, remake um, Jason figures ever from the 2009 remake. I absolutely love, love the jacket, the proportioning. I love how it fits with the sack head, how he went with the concept. I like how he has the, the coveralls inside the boots. I personally wouldn't display it like that. I would put them outside, but that's just a preference. This is, shows you the variety that you can do whatever with David Tucker. Uh, the bandage over the knee, the machete, the holsters custom. I mean, everything about this is all custom. You have once customs heads, uh, one cut uh, David Tucker's coveralls, and then you have a dock dial that was done by once customs. But uh, now, uh, but um, uh, Paul Mainz, he can make a dock dial that's absolutely, absolutely amazing. Trust me, I've seen his dock dials. Uh, I've bought them before. Crazy, crazy good quality. You don't get no thin board, three planks, whatever. It's quality. Moving on to the left, uh, which is uh, your right. We have an old school Rob Zombie AH1 slash Dream Sequence um, Michael Myers that David Tucker did. And we're just showing this off because I just want to say he, it, it, it's an amazing piece and it still holds up to this day. Absolutely awesome. Uh, David Tucker has a new formula, but the proportioning is cool on this one. It's really well done. The blood work is actually really exceptional. He has weathering and it's very accurate with all the snaps on the side. The head sculpt is an OG Ones Customs head sculpt. The knife is by David Tucker, which is really, really good. And um, he just stands pretty pretty intimidating, man, I gotta say. And then you have another road dial by Ones Customs, but there's different details. There's the rabbit in red, which is where Michael Myers' wife, I mean, Michael Myers' mother used to work, not his wife. This dude don't got a wife. Then you have a police sign uh, tape. And then you have a road, which is different than the other one. So there's variations that Paul does in his dials. Uh, there's dirt debris, there's a white line, and there's, it's, it's a little bit flatter, but has that road texture, which is what I like. Then moving on to the back here, I don't know if you guys can see, let's move some stuff around. You have, this is an amalgam of everything. You have, uh, this release, this run was Legio 7 head sculpt, arms, and feet, uh, David Tucker clothing, and then Paul Manzi's diorama, which was the house that the creeper was in yeah. now we don't have the diorama here i believe paul either they can find pictures of it on your instagram yeah, right on the page, yeah. uh it was a killer dial very weather very just a uh, rotting house now the hands are fully sculpted and the paint is actually really really well done the the only thing is it's not the wrist is imposable 
which is uh, a little negative, but that's nothing to do with David or anything. It's just like, you know, same with the feet, really well sculpted, just don't have that much posability, but the neck and the head view and the head sculpt is very accurate. Now let's talk about David's part. His choice in uh, material, perfect, perfect. Thin, beautiful, high quality, weathering's on point, and just the actual, the way it drapes to the figure, couldn't be done better, no matter even if Yunsa did it. I'm sorry. This absolutely came out as a perfect release, and I think it was a perfect amalgam from all three artists. Now, moving on to the left, you're right, one more time, and for the last time, we have Nate the Creep from Creep Show. Now, this is the very first Nate that uh, David Tucker ever did. Completely custom uh, clothing, once customs hands uh, and head sculpt. Uh, it just. Everything's accurate. The weathering is really exceptional. He actually used some real... Um, David actually did the hands. David did the hands? Okay, well, there you go. That's how impressive it is. I thought it came with a set, but no, that's actually impressive. Um, just the moss and everything that's laying on there, the dirt, uh, it's all just really well done there. And let, how old is this piece, Paul? At least four years. And the dirt is still on there. Nothing's yeah. falling off. It's all, he's got sculpted dirt. Yeah. He's got a real material. So yeah, it's a good, perfect the, amount of So it's still on there. Yeah. Hasn't left. Yeah, the Do not have fear to buy this. Yeah, this is 100%. four years old and it yeah. has it all. Still has it this, all. Th this is actually the, like, like, like Dan said, you know, it's the version one. Uh, the ones that he's doing now, have more dirt, they have more grass, they have more, uh, you know, moss effect or, new or, or, or earth, I guess you could say. And, and it's, it's, it's caked on there even more and applied even better than the one over here. That's but, right. you know, uh, David did offer to free upgrade me, but I told him, I said, it's not necessary. I said, I like this one. I love it a lot. And as you guys can see, you move down to Paul Manzi's dad, which is actually a really, really awesome concept because it goes from the outside, from where Nate came out of the ground, that goes into inside the house. Now the dirt is so lifelike, guys, with the grass and the leaves. Absolutely. I used to own this die when I had a David Tucker piece, uh, but as you guys know, I sold my collection, but right now I'm back up to five details, pretty much full up. Just got to wait for the pieces. Right, Paul? That's <laughs> it, man. Now you play the waiting game, yeah. but, but the pieces are coming out much quicker now. One a month if you got the money. That's Boy. right. That's so, and you also get a custom comic book that Paul did. Yep. Really awesome done, the creep show, and you get an awesome uh, title name plaque. Look at that, guys. Beautifully painted, pops, the red, the white, and just the neat, it's like a perfect contrast with the darks. And then you got the marble flooring that obviously comes when he's going in the house and, you know, vanilla, where's my cake? And absolutely awesome. Maybe in the future, ones and uh, Paul or somebody like that will do a, uh, and David will do a run together of this. And um, they'll totally include the sure. cake, They're, they'll be doing that. So totally all these pieces sure. are available from David Tucker. Hit him up on Instagram or Facebook. All these will be uh, available or whatever imagination you have, David can do it. So just follow his Instagram. He's got plenty of other pictures As of, of right stuff. now that Dream sequence is available. That is one that is available. The rest of them are either this specific one. Or, this specific yeah, one is ready available. for sale, ready to go. So hit up Paul Manzi either at uh, Distress underscore Labs on Instagram or hit him up Paul Manzi inside the groups or if you have him as a friend, which I don't know why you would. He's a fucking pansy, right? <laughs> so just hit him up. He's got this for sale. He always be hooking up on the price. I'm telling you. Where do you think my plug is? All right, guys. Well, David, I hope we did you justice. Absolutely impressed by everything. And we got one more review for you guys of a concept uh, that I'm impressed by David Tucker beyond anything that he's done here. So, till next time, guys, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads because a lot of them do not go up in the groups. And until next time, I've been your host, Daniel Terzo, slash Galactable and Conquer Your Own Collection. Paul Manzi, say goodbye to the people. <laughs> Actually, any last announcements you guys got? For say you runs with once, me and David and one have a surprise announcement coming, either the end of June or the very beginning of July. Oh, we gotta talk more about this. Yeah. Peace.